Mr. President, I ask you, um, could you tell us a little bit more about the call you referred to? When will the next round of negotiations well, we've gotten start? two calls, and very, very good calls, very productive calls. Uh, they mean business. They want to be able to make a deal. It's very important that, yeah, I think it's very important for them. Look, they've lost three million jobs, and a lot of things have happened. And it's why President Xi's a great leader. He understands, and it's going to be great for China. It's going to be great for the U.S. It's going to be great for the world. He understands that, and he's able to do things that other people aren't able to do. So uh, we were called, and we're going to start very shortly to uh, negotiate. We'll see what happens. But I think we're going to make a deal, because they don't want to lose their their chains, they have they have supply chains that are unbelievably intricate, and people are all leaving. And they're going to other countries, including the United States, by the way. We're going to get a lot of them, too, a percentage, meaning we'll get — I think we're going to get a higher percentage than a lot of people would think. So uh, we are going to start talking very seriously. We'll see how that goes. Look, we are the largest economy by far in the world. When I became president, we were heading to be the second largest. China was going to overtake us. Not going to happen. Not going to happen anytime. I'll tell you when I'm here. Can't happen. We picked up $20 trillion in worth, and China has lost $20, $25, $30 trillion in worth. We're now almost double the size of the economy. If I hadn't won, our economy now would have been overtaken by China. And all these clowns that are sitting on television that have been running this government for many years, that have been taken to the cleaners by China, they're all sitting there saying, well, I don't think the President is negotiating properly. They don't know what they're talking about. I have great respect for the fact that China called. They want to make a deal. I have great respect. And I have great respect for President Xi. And I think we're going to have a deal, because now we're dealing on proper terms. They understand and we understand. But that's a great thing that happened. And they want to get something done. Now, maybe it won't get done, but this is the first time I've seen them where they really do want to make a deal. And I think that's a very positive step. Mr. President, can you speak about the trade deal with Japan? Many are commenting that the Japanese Prime Minister seemed less enthusiastic than you. Can you ensure that he's actually on board with this? Well, you have to understand, he's a friend of mine. One of my closest friends in this world, he's one of my closest friends. They send us millions and millions of cars. They have for many years. They're essentially not taxed. So they send them in from Japan. They're essentially not taxed. And my first step with Japan was to say, you have to move car companies into the United States. And they did. Many car companies are now operating plants in the United States and building plants in the United States because we have had, over the years, a tremendous trade deficit with Japan. But we have a lot of cards with Japan. Number one is, is my relationship with Prime Minister Abe. So I don't think we have to use the cards. But the ultimate card is they send us millions and millions of cars. Essentially, it's 2.5 percent, but there's ways of getting around it. Essentially, non-tariff free. Now, if I want to put tariffs on those cars, I'd make so much money for this country your head would spend. So, yeah, he's going to make the deal. I feel pretty certain about that. That's what I do. We have cards. That's the thing that people didn't understand. He knew this a long time ago. We have the cards. We're the big piggy bank that everybody's been robbing for 35 years. We have all the cards. But we never played it because we never had a president that understood this. And we never had an administration or trade negotiator that understood it.